This film is about three words. Well, actually, it's about two words and the two words combined into a third word, which has a kind of different meaning. So they are the words territory and jurisdiction and territorial jurisdiction. To understand what significance these three words have, you have to have a mental picture or else it becomes a little abstract. So picture this in your head. There's a guy who has been told he's going to play a game and that game involves a ball. And it also involves a green lane of beautiful well-cut grass. And this guy happens to be the son of a famous golfer. So what do you think that in his mind naturally springs out as the game he's going to play? It's of course golf. So he goes and buys a lot of equipment, gloves, you know, clubs, all of this stuff, and he's prepared and he enters the game, or at least the court where the game is to be played. Well, he kind of is in for a bit of a surprise because on this court, it's not golf that's been played. It's actually football or soccer, as some of you would uh, name it. And you can imagine his surprise when the judge comes running and screaming and gives him a red card and throws him off the court. Why is that? Because he didn't understand the word jurisdiction. Picture the same story and the judge goes outside the court where his jurisdiction is on the football field or the soccer field. And he goes to a parking lot where um, um, parking uh, attendant is uh, just handing out some tickets for cars being wrongfully parked and this judge's car is getting a ticket. So he pulls out his red cards and screams, you're out! <laughs> How do you think that's going to play out for the judge being in the wrong territory under the wrong jurisdiction or having no jurisdiction? That is why we need to understand what are the premises of the court, the premises of the game. If you do not understand this, you are royally screwed. So let's dig into the word territory. Our favorite book of reading, Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition. So let's read out here what the definition of the territory is in Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. A part of a country, separated from the rest and subject to a particular jurisdiction. Wow. I mean, seriously. When you read that the first time, well, I at least did, I wondered and thought, well, how can a territory be separated into two? It pertains to a country. It says so, but a country is separated into two jurisdictions and the one jurisdiction has a very particular jurisdiction. What does that mean, you know, for real? Well, I can tell you what it means in Denmark, because in Denmark, as in many countries, and I know that Rohan Lorry and, and Romney Stewart discovered this to be true as well for the continent, we thought we knew, uh, named as uh, Australia. And here in Denmark, actually, my wife just found that the island on which Denmark was built is a small, small island outside of Copenhagen. And it used to be named, and maybe it's still named, Insula Maritima, the maritime island. I'm not shitting you, it says so, and it's from Saxo, which is a very famous Danish historian, uh, naming this island Insula Maritima, Maritime Island. So, and this island actually is now seated underneath the exact location where the Danish government, or the pirates, what you want to call them, are located under Slotsholmen. It in Copenhagen, and it's still an island. Now it's an artificially dark channel all around, but it's still separated from the rest of the territory. So, if 
your government is resident on a separate jurisdiction, can they then apply any jurisdiction or territorial claim to the rest of the country or the land landmass? No, they cannot. It is as simple as that. So, if you do not know the word and the meaning of the word jurisdiction, let's look up jurisdiction, just to be very clear on what that word means. Because we cannot understand the meaning of territory without understanding the meaning of jurisdiction. So I'll just uh, see if I can find it. Yes, it's here. And you can see there's a very, 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 very long description of the word jurisdiction. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> the wind is uh, playing with us here. So you can see all the way down to here. But right in the bottom, we get the only real uh, usable definition of jurisdiction, of person. And as you know, it is only persons and corporations which actually are the same thing. A person is just a mask or it's a man's rank in the military. So unless you are in the military, you're not a person. Jurisdiction of the person is power to subject parties in a particular case to decisions and rulings made in such cases. All right, let's just redefine that or reiterate that. So, jurisdiction in terms of persons, which you assume to be, which you are not. But as long as you assume that you're a person, you are subject matter to case jurisdiction. Do you understand that? That means the only place where something can have jurisdiction is in a court case or pertaining to subject matter, which is the content of a case or a financial transaction as it's um, manifested in a commercial contract. So when you get a commercial contract from the police, the department of licensing, the uh, you know, everywhere from the government, when you get a commercial contract or an offer to join a commercial contract, then you are in case jurisdiction of person. So if you're not a person, are you then subject matter to their case jurisdiction? No, you are not. Okay, that leaves us with the understanding of then how do they assert their power if they only have jurisdiction on paper, in fiction, and in cases and cases pertaining to subject matter. Well, they just kind of conjure up a new word, which is territorial jurisdiction. So let's look at what and how uh, Black's Law defines territorial jurisdiction. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so territorial jurisdiction territory over which a government or subdivision thereof has jurisdiction. Mm, that's a little vague, but it gets more specific. Jurisdiction considered as limited to cases arising or person residing within a defined territory. And then it says, the authority of any court is limited by the boundaries thus fixed. Okay, this is important. This is very crucial to understanding what and how jurisdiction is obtained and power is applied by your government, which is just a ship full of pirates. First of all, the territory over which a government or subdivision thereof has jurisdiction. Okay. I told you earlier that in Denmark, it is this maritime island uh, where the government actually now is seated. That is their territory. And that is the only part of the landmass, the geographic country known as Denmark, where the government has jurisdiction. So they also claim jurisdiction 
in cases, and they say cases are rising. How the do cases arise? Well, they just conjure them up, like they do with their money system and everything else. They just take it out of thin air and manifest it from nothing. So, cases means commercial contracts. So they have only jurisdiction on the commercial or uncommercial contract, which means on paper. And then persons residing within a defined territory. All right, that's why you have a postal address or a postcode attached to your home abode where you live. So now your home turns into a military post and then the ship has sent its crew members out onto the landmass as a military post and when you live on a military post then they can claim territorial jurisdiction not jurisdiction and not territory but something they conjured up called territorial jurisdiction beautiful isn't it that's why when you write your address on any official document you must always put a square clamp or parentheses around your postal code. Always. Why? Because then you put it in a box and it's not on paper. Now you're not living on a military post and you have removed state jurisdiction or territorial jurisdiction. Okay, I hope you get this because this is so crucial. So, territory Territory, jurisdiction, and territorial jurisdiction. I hope you now have a deeper understanding of these two, two and a half, three magic words. Have a nice day.